One boy Bahati here. One boy made it. Today, we're going to talk about making scrubbies. I've made a few scrubbies and I totally enjoyed the process and I think that you will too. The materials that I used to make the scrubbies are 100% cotton. This cotton is from Lion Brand. This is Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. And they're also companies that make scrubby yarns. So this is a yarn by Red Heart. It is a polyester yarn. It is called Scrubby Sparkle because it kind of sparkles. And this one is just called the Scrubby. And this is also by Red Heart. It is also a polyester yarn. So this polyester yarn combined with the cotton yarns make it really durable and make it a really good uh, scrubber that really scrubs. So you know what? Let's just get right to it. Starting with the cotton yarn only, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a loop and keep a substantial tail on the loop. So there's my loop and my tail. I'm going to put my loop around the anchor peg. I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to hold the tail in my hand just to keep it out of the way for the beginning until we get started. Okay, so when I'm looking at a loom and I see the anchor peg, for me, I always consider the peg that is just to the right of of the anchor peg my right to the anchor of the anchor peg as the first peg and which means that going around the peg that's just to the left is the last peg so whatever peg you are considering to be your first and your last pegs then you're going to take the working yarn and you're going to put the yarn right between the first and the last pegs so you're just going to lay it between the first and the last pegs. And then you're going to wrap it around behind the first peg. So all you're going to do in the beginning is you're going to just lay that working yarn between the first and the last peg. And then you're going to wrap it around behind that first peg. And then you're going to wrap it in front of the next peg. And then you're going to wrap it behind the next peg and then in front and then behind and then in front and I think you know where this is going we are alternating uh, be front and back all around for each peg so we're going in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out and in and out all the way until we get back to that last peg so there's the last peg, there's the first peg. Now what we're going to do to the first and the last peg is nothing. We're going to totally ignore them because we're on a mission. We're on a hunt. What we're hunting for is all the pegs that have the yarn on the outside, which from here on would be every other peg. So we're looking for the pegs that have yarn on the outside because what we want to do is we're going to put a layer of yarn across these pegs because what we want to do is lift the bottom yarn, the yarn that is on the outside. We want to lift that up over this yarn that we have, are going to lay on the top. So that's what we're going to do. So we've come alternated in front and behind every peg. We get back to what would be our last peg and we are totally going to ignore it and we're going to ignore the first peg. But we're going to do a circle of the working yarn around the whole perimeter of the loom and come back to our last peg. Now, because we made that circle, there is now a thread, a piece of yarn going across these two uh, pegs. So, but we're going to stop right here. Now, we're going to be like those people, you know, those people who don't see you or who never talk to you, not of the blue, they'll call you because they need something. Well, we totally ignored this last 
peg, but now we want to use it. We're saying, well, you know what? We do see you because we need something to kind of anchor our thread, um, our yarn for us while we go around and pull the bottoms up over the top and we need a kind of anchor there. So you know what? We do see you. So let me just make sure everybody's with me. We did the in and out, in and out. We came back to what would be our last peg. We're taking this yarn across the last peg and across the first peg, and we're making a revolution uh, with this yarn all around this loom. We're going to come back to our last peg, and we're going to decide that we do want to use it because it can help us anchor our yarn. We don't want to wrap it too tightly. We don't want it too loose, but we really don't want it too tight either. So what we're going to do now, normally when I have two rows, I'm always telling you, make sure you push the bottom down, push the bottom down, make, make room for the top row. What I have found out in working with the cotton is that cotton is not as stretchy and cotton is not as forgiving as the acrylic and the wool and the other knit yarns that we are normally work with. Cotton does not like to stretch. So if anything, I'm going to suggest that you push the cotton, the bottom row up a little bit so that you don't have so far to try to stretch the yarn to get it over that, that top layer. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, like I said, let go look for every peg that has the yarn on the outside, we're going to take that yarn and we're going to lift it up and over like that. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go up and over, up and over every yarn that is outside. I'm going to lift it up and over. So get out of the way there and up and over, up and over and up and over and okay so this one is outside so we want to put that one up and over and up and over and up it's outside and get you over and So up and over. Okay, now we've come back to our. Now, if we put now because we took the revolution around and it made a line on there, we now have an outside loop on this la, on our what would be our last peg. So we're going to take this yarn across the top, and we're going to take that bottom and lift it up and over, and now we have our cast on layer. We have our drawstring cast on. Now what we're going to do is we are going to push it down because we're going to make way for what is going to be an, a row of e-wraps. Okay, and this is also where we are going to add the scrubby. So I'm going to add this scrubby yarn here and I'm going to match it with the tail that is here on here and now I'm going to match this scrubby up with my working yarn because from here on out I'm going to treat this as one piece of yarn that we're going to work together with these so I'm going to put the scrubby match the tail and you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to well, I'll take that tail, I'll, I'll do that later. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go around with the scrubby and the cotton together because now we're going to use them and work with them as if they are one. And so we're going to just do the e-wrap all around using the scrubby and And we're going to e-wrap every peg. And just like we've done with all of our other projects, 
going to go ahead and lift that bottom over the top to kind of anchor it so that we can go on. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undo this from the peg so that we can put it inside and get it out of the way. So I'm going to take that off. We're going to take the loop out and we're going to put that inside. Okay, now that makes it a little easier to deal with. All right, so we have our tails right here. Let me put this tail inside as well. Come on. Okay, so we got those tails in. All right, so now we have, we're just going to be working with this. We want to go around now and just get the bottom. Now what we're pulling up over the top now is just, um, it's just the cotton yarn. And then once we get this layer of cotton yarn over all the other layers will be the cotton and scrubby yarn combined. So we're going to put this, all of these, just put that over. And and so here we and all right and now we are going to push start pushing down again because now it's not so difficult for us all right so now we're going to take and we're going to just start another row of e-wrap and again using the the cotton and the scrubby as one yarn. They are one. And we're just going to go around um, and pretty much this is all we're going to do for the next uh, 14 or 15 rows. So and again up, and we're just going to like I said treat the scrubby and the cotton as one. And so this is what we're going to do. Um, this is all we're going to do for the next um, 14 or 15 rows. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to come back when we're at the 14, 14th or 15th row. Okay, so we're at the point where we are ready to remove the scrubby from the loom. And what we're going to do is do a drawstring cast off on this end as well. So we have cut the scrubby, left about a six inch tail, and we have cut, um, we did a revolution around here about one and a half times, and then we cut the pink uh, yarn and so now we have this little tail and we have this pink yarn so what we're going to do is we're going to take our hook and keeping these two together we're going to go in underneath and we're going to pull this up and through and we're going to just keep using this scrubby it's a very short tail but we're going to pull that scrubby up until we can't pull that scrubby up anymore, but we'll continue with the pink yarn once the scrubby runs out. So we're going to take and we're just going to go underneath and pull that through. And I'm going to go over here, go underneath, pull that through, go underneath. It's just as, okay, we're going to get that, pull it up. And we're going to get this and go underneath and we're just pulling it through and now the scrubby has run out so we're just going to continue to do it with the pink cotton yarn and so 
This is all we're doing. And we're just going to keep going. And so we're just going to keep pulling this pink cotton yarn through until we get back to the beginning. And here we are. So we're going to pull that through. And now the fun part, because what we're going to do now is we're just going to go around and we're just going to lift everything off. So we're just going to go here and take it off, lift off, lift off, lift off. And we're just going to take all of these loops off all of the pegs. And there you go. We're just taking everything off the peg. And okay, so there we have our scrubby. Now we have to shape it into this shape. And so the way we're going to do that is we're going to pull the string and this is our, here we go. Let me move this out of the way. Here you go. So do you see it's closing in the draw string cast on allows us to draw this in. And now we're gonna take the scrubby tail and we're going to tie both of these together. And we're going to do it once. We're going to do it twice. I'm going to do it three times. So there. And now we're going to go to the other end. We're going to find that drawstring. And we're going to draw. Where's my tail? There's my tail. And we're going to draw it in. And there you go. It's drawn in. And then I'm going to find my tail. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tie the tail around this about three times. So one, two, and three. And now we have this little puffy puffy okay but in order to get it to stay in this position what we're going to do is we're going to take our needle and we're going to go right through the center here and right up the center and center it as best we can with the center on the other side. Okay, and we're just gonna pull it through. Pull that yarn through. It didn't matter, it doesn't matter which side you start working on. Pull it through, and we're gonna go back one more time. There you go. So we're gonna just pull it back right through there. And then what we're going to do is actually just come on the other side. And we're going to do the same thing. Just going to thread this needle. And we're going to find the center here and match it up with the center on the other side. And we're just going to go through. And then we're going to go through. And now what we're going to do is we have, well, what I wanted to do was, so I'm going to go back because I wanted to end with okay, the center and the center. What I wanted to do was end up with this. Okay, so we want to go to the center and we want the center and we want to end up with two, both of the strings, the heavy strings on the outs on the same side. And then we're going to tie that. I'm going to put the tail in there too. We're just going to tie it 
We're going to tie it one more time. All right, and now we're going to just clip everything and we have a tail over here that needs to be clipped. All right, so there we have our scrubby. Okay, I think that looks beautiful.